So as we celebrate Black History Month, you'd be surprised the people living right here in Charlotte that have broken barriers. This morning, we introduce you to Mady Maddox Smith Moore and her husband, Jackie Moore, on how their resiliency is making way for generations today. In her own way, Mady Maddox Smith Moore is a pioneer by breaking down barriers in Charlotte's healthcare field. In high school, the 91 year old worked in a segregated Charlotte Memorial Hospital before continuing education in the 1950s at St. Augustine in Raleigh. Came back to Charlotte, worked in Mercy's uh, wing for people of color. Years later, she was encouraged to work at the Mecklenburg County Health Department, but says it didn't come easy. But at that time, you either had to have someone of your color or race, retire or die before you could uh, be hired. In the mid 1970s, she was the first black nurse promoted to supervisor at the Mecklenburg County Health Department, a role that also landed her free schooling at UNCC to become a certified child care specialist. History runs in Miss Moore's household. Her husband, Jackie Moore, was the first black athlete to play for what is now the Golden State Warriors. And they were Philadelphia at that time, Warriors. And that was in, uh, from 54 to 58. He said the news wasn't noted until a few years later, but he didn't mind because he just wanted to play. Playing at that time, uh, a lot of the white ball players did not like black ball players because they felt we were taking their jobs. But staying resilient through it all is why he's going down as one of the players who opened doors for the ball players you see on the courts today. Like right now, like for the Hornets, I like uh, Miles Bridges. I think his, I really like his for the style of play. You know? Fun fact, Mr. Moore tells me when he was playing ball back in the day, there wasn't a three point shot and the games was a much slower pace. As for Miss Mady, she says if there's anything she changed within the healthcare system, it would be continuing the work to break down disparities in the healthcare system. Ben Ruby, thanks.